Macintosh has become world renowned for designing and manufacturing almost every single thing in house. They also pride themselves on being able to repair just about any Macintosh product ever made. This philosophy and great sound has led to Macintosh products holding their value better than any other audio brand. Audio Advice recently toured the Macintosh factory and we were amazed at the level of in-house expertise they have. Not only do they make and assemble all of the audio portions of the gear at their factory, they bend and paint their own metal, cut and etch their own glass, and even wind and pot their own transformers. It is truly a remarkable tour if you're into audio at all. The subject of today's review is the new C49 preamp, which is just starting to make its way out into the audio world and is loaded with far more features and technology than you might think. Macintosh wanted to give music lovers a new preamp that enabled them to connect just about any type of music source available today. There are a ton of fun features under the hood that allow you to customize the C49 to your system. And it goes without saying, just like every Macintosh product, the C49 is built to last for decades. The C49 has an abundance of both analog and digital inputs. To keep the analog signal path as pure as possible, the preamp is two completely separate units tied together. The top half houses the analog section, which gives you two sets of outputs with both balanced and single-ended RCA outs. There is also a third fixed RCA audio out. You'll get two pair of balanced audio inputs, three RCA audio inputs, and both a moving coil and moving magnet set of phono inputs. The other half of the preamp houses the power supply in the digital section. The DA1 digital audio module is also modular, so if there's any huge technology change, it could be updated over time. Although for right now, it is totally what is state-of-the-art with its 8-channel 32-bit DAC used in a quad balance mode. It supports DSD-256 and DXD-384 kHz for high-resolution audio. The DA1 module gives you a USB digital input, two Toslink inputs, and two coax digital inputs. You'll also get a special MCT input designed to work with Macintosh SACD transports. The back panel of the digital power half also houses 10 mini jacks, which can be used for all kinds of cool control functions with other Macintosh gear. It only takes a few seconds to figure out how to operate the C49 as it is extremely well laid out. The left side has a round selection knob. In the center is a visual display to show you what you've selected. On the far right is the volume knob. Underneath the input knob, you'll find a full-size headphone jack. Macintosh uses a dedicated internal high-power headphone amp using what they call their high drive tech that can power just about any headphone on the market today. Next to this are two switches that turn on or off each of the two independent preamp outputs. The right side has an easy-to-find power on-off switch, a switch to engage or disengage the tone controls, and a mute button. On every switch but the mute button, you have a red light that indicates if it's in the on position. The mute displays in the window. Macintosh was also very clever in the way they labeled all of the controls on the rear side of the glass. This means it will never wear off, preserving the great resale value Macintosh gear is known for. We love the extreme flexibility of the phono section. The moving magnet section lets you adjust from 50 to 800 picofarads in 50 picofarad steps, while the moving coil stage allows you to load the cartridge at 25, 50, 100, 200, 400, or 1000 ohms. Other preamps have this feature, but the neat part here is you can do all of these on the fly with the handheld remote, enabling you to quickly hear the change. The C49 also has a home theater bypass mode. Many high-performance two-channel products have added this feature recently. It lets you connect all of your dedicated audio-only gear to your C49 preamp, then connect up your surround sound processor or receiver's front channel outputs to the C49. This enables you to combine a dedicated two-channel system and a home theater setup with zero compromise to the sound of your two-channel gear. The tone and balance control circuitry was as good as advertised. You'll be able to adjust bass, treble, and balance, or if you wish, completely disable those circuits for a pure signal path. For handling all of those 13 inputs, Macintosh gives you the ability to name each one of them to your personal taste and also trim the input volume up and down on every one. This means when you switch from source to source, they can all be at the same volume level. The signal switching all takes place right at the connectors through a special control circuit that talks to the front panel. The C49 also uses Macintosh's best volume control design. This uses an optoelectric circuit that gives you the ability to fine tune the volume. 
No signal passes through the volume knob, assuring years of noise-free service. On the digital side of tech, the Macintosh Quad Balance Stack design cancels out any noise or distortion present in the digital conversion process. The result is a digital section that gives you an extremely smooth sound without any trace of harshness. The final part of the secret sauce inside the C49 that makes it sound so sweet is simply the Macintosh heritage of component evaluation and testing. When you make products that last for decades, your engineers start to get a really good sense of what types and brands of all these tiny resistors, diodes, and capacitors and more inside a preamp not only sound great, but hold their great sound and specs into the future. With the C49, you're getting 70 years of audio design expertise, assuring you of outstanding sound decades down the road. Macintosh sent us a C49 before our full order of demo gear arrived, so we wound up testing it at a somewhat standalone system outside a full Macintosh stack. This is probably not the typical way it would be used as most Macintosh owners couple a Macintosh preamp with one or more of their power amps. But since the C49 is brand new, we wanted to get a review out quickly. We paired it up with a Mark Levinson 534 power amp and one of our favorite speakers, the Revel Salon 2. We tested several different tracks with a Macintosh preamp and I have to say, this is a smooth, sweet sounding piece, but it's also really effortless and extended. Great dynamics, really good three-dimensional imaging. It really surprised us for $5,000 how great it sounded. With its modular digital section and plethora of analog inputs, along with moving coil and moving magnet phono, we see the C49 as being in your system for decades. When you look at all you get for $5,000 compared to the competition out there, it seems like a great value to us. Plus, it's just beautiful to look at and fun to operate. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. On our channel, we review great technology from all around the world. Thanks for watching.